Hi everyone, so you might be thinking, why does a furniture refinisher need a laser? In this video, I'll tell you why I may not need it, but it's a great addition to the list of tools that you have in your shop. So keep watching and hope you enjoy it. The laser that I've got is by a company called Creality, and this is their 10 watt laser falcon engraver. Now, it's really easy to put together. These are the components that it comes in, and they do have a detailed video on their website and also on YouTube of how to put this together. So that's why I'm just speeding through this. Um, you can see it's, it's quite straightforward. Not many fixings, not many tools needed to do it. It took me probably about 20 minutes to put it all together, and that's what we've got here. All ready to go on my kitchen table. One of the great things about this laser is you can either plug it directly into your laptop or you can simply put the image onto an SD card. You can see there, that's the main control box with the power. The connection to your laptop on underneath there is a slot for your SD card. It's a simple on off switch there. And once it turns on, it's pretty much ready to go. The button on the front there, you can actually pause it, you can stop the job, you can do a preview and you can start the engraving with that. So dead simple. So safety first before we start, this has a auto off function if the laser is knocked or tilted, an alarm will sound and the laser will shut off. It also has a protective cover right at the laser head for when you're doing your designs. You also get on top of that a pair of beautiful sunglasses or <laughs> protective glasses and they are absolutely essential to wear. This came with an optional extra which is a metal honeycomb board to protect your work surface. With this laser, you need to use a third party software and free for Windows is something called Laser Gerbil or Laser GRBL. And you can just simply download that from their website or they actually, the company that provide this laser provides you with a downloadable link. It's not available for Mac operating systems. So you would have to use Lightburn or some other equivalent. And Lightburn isn't free. It's free for 30 days to trial it. So that's what I did. Um, I did try Laser Gerbil on a Windows laptop I've got. To be honest, it's quite a, a steep learning curve. I would much prefer it if it was an app-based program, but it is what it is and it's you soon get the hang of it. Okay, well that's enough of that. Let's get on to actually using the laser. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use it to engrave something. And the first thing I could think of was my logo. This is gonna be great. I'm just printing this or engraving this, should I say, on some three mil wood. Now I can resize this to different size woods and use this to stick on the back of my refinished furniture. And also use this to, to develop some logoed drinks coasters to give away and to publicize my business. And great finish, uh, really clear and quite easy to do. So as I mentioned, I could use this on my furniture. So I bought some discs, but I bought the wrong size. They're far too small, but I decided to see if this would work printing it onto these discs. It was really difficult to get it centered. And I think with a lot more practice, I could do that but it came out okay. And once I master it, I can stick these onto the back of my finished furniture. Another design for a drinks coaster was inspired by, well, I'm sure you can guess. This next bit is where I think I can make some great designs and some real nice furniture using this laser. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm using a, a program called Canva just to generate a, a geometric pattern. It can be anything. Uh, sticking some wood veneer down 
onto the honeycomb plate and then set it off with the engraver with that design. What I also wanted to do with this is once the engraving had finished, I wanted to cut it out. So you can do that just by changing the power for the different parts of the job. And as you can see there, it's cutted out a lovely tile uh, of veneer that I can stick to any piece of furniture. The maximum engraving size is 400 mil by 415 mil. So you do get a lot of flexibility with your designs. I'm actually gonna use this technique on a box that I bought recently for three pounds. Beautiful wooden box, needs quite a lot of work to restore it, uh, which I'm gonna do on the outside. But on the inside, I wanted to do something different. So I thought designing my own veneer and layering that inside would be a great look. Not particularly this pattern, and obviously I'll cut it to the right size, but this is a great test for what I want to do. Okay, so I know this isn't directly associated with furniture refinishing or restoration, albeit you could cut out any design you wanted, which you could apply as, as an applique to your furniture, but this is a Christmas decoration. I thought I'd give it a go, and it came out really well, really easy to cut, and you can put any design you want on the front, whether that's with your engraver, or you can simply draw it on. The other thing I've done is with some log slices I cut down earlier in the year, I decided to print on, engrave on, some designs that I put together on Canva. And this is a doggy theme one. We've got quite a lot of dogs in the family and they will be getting a Christmas decoration. And there it is. I managed to center it better on that one. This is a different tree decoration design. I used Canva to create. And as you can see there, I've pre-drilled the hole. And just to keep the traditional rustic feel, I'm using some jute twine just to thread through there and then it's ready to hang on your Christmas tree. Obviously, you could see from that design that you can personalize that and the possibilities are absolutely endless with this. It's just coming up to Christmas, so that's why I thought I'd, uh, I'd just do a bit of a Christmas theme. Right, so to keep it real, this laser is really easy to use. However, I found the software quite difficult and you do have to do a lot of trial and error with the power settings and the time and getting the laser to center the project. If there were presets for the specific types of material and the project you wanted to do, I think it'd be much better. So the answer to the question, do I need this? I guess the honest answer is no, I don't need it, but I don't need a lot of the tools that I've got. This will just help me be more creative. It will help me elevate some of my furniture designs. And it's just a great piece of kit to have. Whether you're a furniture refinisher, a crafter, or somebody who just likes being creative. And if you are interested in this laser, I shall leave a link in the description. And I shall be using this in some of my future videos, especially the box that I showed earlier. So please subscribe and press the notification bell so you don't miss those videos. Thanks for watching.